What do you got in there? What do you got in there, man? What do you got in there? What do you got in there? Oh! Newly released body camera video shows a deadly shooting in Colorado after a woman allegedly pulled a gun at an officer who fatally shot her. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It was just before 5 p.m. on July 25th. Yeah. Oh, praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekah Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. That's doing the work of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekah Kodash. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> happy atonement. You know, we're going through the atonement right now, okay? Reflecting our souls, right? Uh, all in the name of Yahweh by Shimi Abishai, okay? You know, the atonement goes to, uh, you know, repenting, you know, for the sins, you know, which, you know, I said a little prayer <clears throat> this morning. Uh, and, and, you know, I just pretty much uh, went into, uh, you know, asking for forgiveness of my sins in my past lives and, you know, the, the present life. You know, so you know I had to make this one video. You know, I had plenty of time on my hands to uh, you know study and you know afflict myself uh, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So during that time, you know, I was flipping through uh, some channels uh, on YouTube, and uh, I happened to see this, and uh, this is uh, Law and Crime uh trial network and uh you know i'm use this under the uh fair use act you know um i'm not using this uh for any monetary gain just for uh educational purposes only okay so you see how the video started off uh this video is going into uh this one lady getting shot and this happened to be edomite okay and you know, uh, and I say that to, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, well, I won't say it's to my surprise or anything, uh, which the scripture talk about these things that Esau Edom was going to go through in the end times, you know, the Lord said he was going to, uh, uh, reverse, uh, our curses and put them upon thy enemy okay and that's what the lord is doing you see the lord is doing that man uh matter of fact let's just get that i believe it's in uh i know it's a couple uh that uh reminds us uh remind us that uh these things is gonna happen to our enemy man because which is, is is well overdue, you know, just, you know, in, in, in my aspect, you know, just to, um, you know, speak as, uh, you know, as a man, you know, uh, the Lord has a time as, as long, you know, when these things are going to happen, you know, the Lord tells you he's long suffering. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to, let's get it out of uh the book of uh is it it's deuteronomy salaki yeah deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7 okay it says uh deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7 it says uh and the lord yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies okay so Thy enemies are uh, the nations beginning with Esau, Edom, okay? The Edomites, which are the so-called white people who you know them as today, okay? It says on them that hate thee, which prosecute thee, okay? And these are all the things that, oh, well, I ain't saying all the things. This is just some of the, you know, uh, points that, you know, you uh uh, that's pointing at Esau Edom. You know, if you go to the book of uh, Deuteronomy uh, 20, uh, the 28th uh, chapter, 
I believe the 68th verse said you will be sold to your enemies. You know, and you know, and and they are the top uh, enemy of the Israelites. Okay, so let's let's go to uh, uh, Lamentation because Esau Edom has had his time. You know, and as you can look in uh, these different things that are going on throughout the earth. And you know Esau Edom is 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 about to go out with a bang. <laughs> you know, it, it, the Lord is stirring it, stirring things up. You know, and Esau think that it's on his own uh uh charge that he's uh, actually making these things happen. When I say that, I'm talking about the elite uh rulers of the earth. Okay, the central bankers. You know these the guys that make the uh these different laws that wasn't elected you know wasn't elected f officials okay uh lamentation chapter four and verse uh twenty one it says rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, okay the so called white man okay, which is Edom it says that dwellers in the land of us, the cup also shall be passed unto thee. Okay, and that cup is uh, all of these things we read about, you know, the being hated and, and prosecuted, okay, amongst many other things. It says, thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. So being naked is what you're exposing yourself, okay? And this guy said something in this one video uh, at close to the end. And this is just only a, a seven minute and 43 second video. And uh, so uh, we'll let a little of it play. And we're going to skip around in it. I want to hit the key points in it. And uh, Lord willing, we'll come back with more precepts. When a Westminster, Colorado officer noticed an SUV parked in the road facing the wrong direction. Video shows him approach a forward-facing Jeep, asking what's going on. The officer, Nick Adams, then approaches the parked vehicle. The woman inside, later identified as 46-year-old Alicia Duran, initially refuses to roll down the window. Eventually, Duran gives in and puts the window down, but refuses to answer the officer's questions. You're in the wrong lane. Are you okay? Are you okay, man? What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Are you okay? Adams can be heard asking whether she's okay and calling in the situation on his radio. Can you tell me what's going on? Why are you in the wrong lane? Can you tell me why you're in the wrong lane? I don't know what I got here. I got a female that won't answer any questions. I think I'm in our vet. I'm in our turn lane to go into the shops if you want to start one of them. Duran only replies when the officer asks whether she needs an ambulance. What's going on? Can you tell me what's going on there? Please? Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance? Are you all right? Okay. When he asks if she's been drinking, she reverts back to silence. Have you, have you been drinking or anything? It doesn't look like... Look, you can see how he's talking and, uh, you know, imagine that being a so-called black man. They would have drug him out the car, you know? Showing you uh, we're not equal. <laughs> 
Never will we, you know, the Lord tells you we are above all these nations, man. Let's go to uh, Psalm 73 and verse 5. It says, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them as a chain, violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, and they have more than their heart uh, could wish. That says, they are corrupt, speak wickedly uh, concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. And that oppression is uh, the oppression of uh, us as a people, the Israelites, you know, who they so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, let's go on. It's then that Duran reaches for something in her middle console. Adams can be heard asking her what it is before realizing it's a gun. What, what do you got in there? What do you got in there, man? What do you got in there? What do you got in there? Oh! Adams grabs her arm before backing off and shooting at her. What do you got in there? What do you got in there? Oh! Immediately, Adams puts out a shots fired call and yells for Duran to stay still. 225, shots fired, shots fired. Don't move. Shots fired. Calling units code nine channel one. Responding units Sam twenty five. Are you? <laughs> and he said, "Don't move." Hey. Two twenty five. Shots fired. Shots fired. Don't move. Shots fired. Call units code nine channel one. Responding units Sam twenty five. Are you okay? Eighty Are you okay? When backup arrives at the scene, Adams removes the gun from the vehicle where Duran is already unresponsive. I've got the gun secured. No response from her. What do you need? People downrange appear to be code four. Let's get her out of the car. You get the gun, I'll get her out of I'm, the car. Yeah, I'm trying to do okay. all that, man. I, Give me a minute. You grab the gun, I got her. Just get that out of here. I don't think so. Hey, get her out. 191 Sam Robert Tom. 191 Sam Robert Tom. We're going to need all of the eastbound and GD. Stop. We're going to need eastbound. We're going to be probably at here. Stop. I got no pulse. All right, I'm securing this, man. Copy. We have in Corvette and route as well. No, no, I'm securing this in my car. Adams then approaches the Jeep parked nearby, asking if everyone inside is okay. Are you all right? Copy, we have fire started. Are you okay? No one inside the Jeep was injured, but a bullet hit the windshield. Adams can be heard apologizing to the people inside before breaking down. Ma'am? We are on the ground. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. 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 i am and the Lord uh, uh, sanctioned that, you know, like we all, this is one of my favorite, you know, scriptures that, you know, the Lord kills and he makes us alive, man. I believe that's first Samuel's, uh, and it's, uh, I think it's first Samuel's and there's also one in, uh, in the book of, uh, uh, Isaiah, I believe it is Isaiah 47 and no 45 and seven. So. The Lord sanctioned this, man. Let's get the one in, uh, let's go to, uh, the one in 1 Samuel. Okay. 1 Samuel's 1, no, is it 2? It's 2 and 6, Salaki. There we go. It says, the Lord, Yahweh, kill it and make it alive. So the Lord does these things, man. Okay. And, and the things that, you know, that's not normally uh, uh, thought of. The Lord does these. You know, I mean, by men that don't know the truth or know the scriptures, you know, they uh, 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 they get upset or, well, not upset, but they don't just, they don't know what the Lord does, man. 
Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's get. I uh, said he bring it down to the grave and bring it up again. So the Lord does these things, man. The Lord sanctions uh, these killings, man. Murders, however, you know, is is uh, spoke on or how it's understood. You know, it's understood that by the, the servants of the Lord know that these things happen and why they happen. You know, they happen. You know, we 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 the Lord takes us out of the world. You know, uh, uh, he takes us. Uh, the body goes, you know, in the ground, and the spirit goes to the Most High, uh, to the the one he, uh, who, 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 you know, the spirit creator, the Father of Spirit, should I say? Okay. And it is not by coincidence, you know, that people get killed, or whatever. Okay. Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-nine it says, "Seeing now that I, even I, am He." And there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, the Lord does these things, man. It, it, like I said, through the Spirit, you know. Hey, the Lord uh, 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 kills and make alive. Uh, I'm kind of reading and doing something at the same time. Forgive me for that. Deuteronomy 32 and 35 says, To me belong vengeance and recompense. Okay? So the Lord does his things, man. It, it ain't, you know, other men's, uh, 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 it's not in their will or it's not their decision, should I say. Okay, let's finish on. It says, Their foot shall slide in due time. Who foot? The one who has the grip. <laughs> It's Esau, Edom has the grip on the earth. Okay. Job, uh, what is it? 9 and 24 says the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Okay. It says for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. Okay. So the Lord does these things, man. It's not uh, uh, Esau, Edom. That's, you know, uh, making different decisions, you know, uh, as far as his, uh, you know, he's different laws and, you know, bringing back the, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, the shiesty mask, you know, and, and, and so on and so forth. But, you know, let's get to the part that I really want to, uh. But really want, but why I really wanted to make this video. Let's get back to it. I'm so sorry. He continues on explaining what happened just moments before. She wouldn't talk to me. She just, she had some, some like charm or something, and she wouldn't talk to me. I, I said, do you need an ambulance? What do you need? And she reached into the center console, and I saw this gun. She reached for it, pointed it right at me. I was so worried I was going to shoot down range at you. Oh my God. The person inside the vehicle then identifies themselves as Jess, and Adams introduces himself again, apologizing. What's your name? Jess? You're fine. You don't need an ID. Jess, I'm Nick. Okay? You're going to need to stick around for us a little while. I'm so sorry. Holy sh You could call anybody. You can. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my work phone. You can call whoever you need. We'll, we'll get. We'll get somebody to talk to her. Okay. I need. Hold on a minute. I'm consoling her, man. I put one right to her window. Okay. She's okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm gonna secure this gun. I'm gonna give her my work phone so she can make some phone calls. So stick it around for me. Okay. All right. Another officer approaches, checking whether Adams is okay. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come look at this, man. Come look at this. Next, Adams introduces Jess to the other officer before making a bizarre remark about America. This is Jess. This is my best buddy, Mark. Are you okay? Are you okay? Look, the steering wheel. It's her birthday. Oh, God. okay. It's America. God right. bless America, Jess. Yeah, God gonna bless America with total destruction, man. That's the death of America, man. 
Okay, uh, what's that one scripture? Uh, 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 how's it go? I'm thinking of two scriptures at one time, but you know, uh, that one scripture where, uh, has the hammer cut asunder, you know, hey, America's on this, you know, on this last leg, and I believe, uh, uh, down on in that chapter, I think it's uh, Jeremiah 50. Yeah, it is Jeremiah 50. And uh, on down in the chapter, almost at the end, I think around the 39th verse, where uh, it talks about how the wild beasts of the desert uh, shall dwell here in America. Matter of fact, let's just go to it, and uh, I believe we'll make that the last uh, scripture. Jeremiah chapter 50. And uh, well, let's get 23 first. Okay. Wait a minute, so like, so like I was just reading a couple of them. Let's go to to point to the point of, of Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 23. It says, "How the has the hammer." Of the whole earth cut asunder and broken, has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? You know, you know this is really towards you know all the other nations, you know, uh, but you know it is going to crumble uh, from the inside. Okay, first before you know these other nations, uh, the Lord going to put the spirit on them to shoot, um, uh, burn her with fire. Uh, Revelation uh, seventeen and seventeen. You know, uh, beginning with uh, uh, leading the charge is going to be Russia, man. Gog and Magog in the scriptures. Okay. It says, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. And thou art waste, not aware, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught because the, thou hast uh, stricken against the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Okay. Uh, let's see. It's one. Uh, I think it's. Is it 39? Let's read this one. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33. It says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel. And the children of Judah were oppressed together, and that's the northern and the southern kingdom. Okay, the northern kingdom is the so-called, uh, you know, Hispanic, uh, uh, you know, North uh, North American Indians. Okay, and uh, Judah is represented uh, is representing the so-called uh, blacks and uh, you know Haitians and uh, uh, so-called Jamaicans. Okay, it says they were oppressed together. And all that took them captive held them fast, and they refused to let them go. So the Lord is going to have to redeem us, okay? Uh, let's see. It was, is it 40? 39 says, Therefore the wild beasts of the desert with the wild, uh, yeah, with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there. And this is talking about America after the destruction. And the fire goes down. Okay, burns itself out. It says, And the isle shall dwell there, and, and in it and it shall be no more inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelled in from generation to generation. So this is going to be a memorial uh, of how it is to be, you know, wicked. Okay? And this is going to be, you know, a, a memorial to get everybody in order. Okay, uh, help get everybody in order because the Lord is going to allow his men, you know, to come out of the chariots, man, to uh, restore order in the earth, man. Okay, that's that new Jerusalem. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we're going to end it there and give all praise and honor to you. How about Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekah, Kodash, double honors to the elder apostles from the great most stone. Okay. Um, all the servants of Yahweh by Shimmy Abishai. And uh, shout out to the next time.